Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Ethereum, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And uh, you know, if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that out today and if you are looking for a little bit more from the crypto space why not check out the patreon services as well linked in the description down below uh, we do cover a lot more for our patreon members down in discord so if that's your bag why not check that out okay let's waste no more time let's jump right down into this one right so here we have ethereum paired up with usdt we're on the hourly chart and binance is the data source now we have seen a little bit of a landslide here um pretty much across the entire crypto space and ethereum is no exception okay and um, so it has pulled back just in line with bitcoin and uh, i still think there's a little bit more room to the downside to be had here so i'm going to walk you through uh, what i'm seeing in this now i think this is a giant zigzag pattern at the moment and um, finishing off this entire correction over this side now and um, for this there was a kind of a mini kind of correction just here that allowed for a reset okay so we can just basically chalk that up right there you can kind of see that we have five wave structure coming on down and then we kind of finish it off uh, then there was a little bit of corrections just over here completely making this um basically a triple corrective move and then we broke down from here and um, so the way that i see this is we kind of have ourselves a little kind of mini five wave structure right in here okay so this is basically your mark uh for a wave one structure okay and then we are starting over this side with our next um kind of structure and we're expecting some kind of fourth wave right now and then a final fifth wave to come down after okay um now with that all of that would uh, essentially be um maybe i should actually mark this up slightly differently i should probably mark this up differently so if i take it like this um yeah, I think that might be the best way of actually look, taking a look at it. So if we take a look at it like this, for example, um, you then end up with this being a wave one, that being a wave two, that being a wave three. We then bounce for our wave four, then we call back down into wave five. So this way you can see that you've got a five, um, three structure, five structure, three structure on the way up. And then that will have another five wave structure come on down. That way you can even make a little bit more sense of that. Um, so and in order to kind of keep this a little bit clean i will remove the sub wave counting um, but you kind of get the idea that what we're talking about there if you understand elliott wave theory and um, so right there you can kind of see that we kind of complete the third wave right there and now we're looking for this fourth wave bounce now if i zoom in on this and i just expand this up a little bit ever so slightly and um, what we can do is that we can essentially just see if we have a right structure inside here already right so we can see that we kind of have one red candle and we could take a look at that if we bring the stochastic rsi up into play we can see that we're up in this overbought area um so yeah we've, we've kind of moved up quite nicely here now i would expect some kind of maybe smaller correction move and then another surge up just to reach a kind of a bit of a limit here um, and then we break down from there that would be my expectation but let's also just check to see what's going on with the four hourly yeah so we've got some room to grow on that four hourly chart and this is the same for bitcoin but many of the other altcoins are actually ready to kind of drop down so and um, we should be a little bit cautious that if uh, bitcoin decides actually you know it's going to just speed things up and just pull back um then essentially yeah we're probably going to speed this up as well and we'll probably pull this back down a little bit faster as i said many of those altcoins are kind of ready to kind of pull back down as well so um <clears throat> I guess the hope here is that this is our start of our corrective move, just a, a small one. We kind of pull back down a tad and then we move up maybe to around the 1300 level. Um, so we end up with a one, two, three kind of waves, like an ABC structure like this. Um, or alternatively, you know, we've already kind of got a really small ABC structure or the WXY just inside here already. Um, so for example, we would have uh, it looking like that and that could also be done and then we could just break down but I feel that's a bit too small for the kind of scale of what we're looking for so I'm thinking that we should be moving up towards kind of a 1350 level uh, that would be a little bit more of a comfortable place to be aiming for and then breaking down from there um, so that's kind of what we're looking for now if that were to be the case and we were to basically take a look at it from a 1350 perspective uh, that would allow us then to kind of pull back down towards our 930 dollar level uh, up to about 1000 so 
Um, I just got a bit of a guesstimate, but I will kind of leave this on here for now. Um, based on the rules that are around Elliott wave theory, um, you know, if we do move up and we do see this structure take us to about 1350, then we should be expecting our fifth wave to come down somewhere between 930 and 1000. Uh, that would actually allow us to then complete that final fifth wave. And if I zoom up here a little bit, it would actually complete the entire structure. So if I bring this up into a four hour uh, four hour chart here, uh, essentially because it's a 535 structure, it would be classified as an ABC structure like that, which is called a zigzag. So uh, essentially that could be marking the end of the entire corrective move. And all of that right there would be inside a WXY running from the top here that being your W wave, this being your X wave, and then all of that down there is your Y wave. That completes the entire correction, slightly overextending based on these trend-based patterns. The other thing to avoid here is another 3-5 structure, um, because then you would actually end up with a, a whole 5 wave move rather than a zigzag move, um, and that would basically take you probably down... Yeah, you'll probably be talking like 700, maybe even as low as $600 or so. Um, so you'd have to be very, very cautious over those kind of things. But for the most part, um, yeah, that, that could be a, a simple WXY um, taking us down towards 930. If we don't get the right kind of impulsive structure out of this move and we only see a three wave structure and then another five wave structure, we are talking about dropping down very, very significantly here on Ethereum um, to a point where recovery recovery is going to be going to be tough and um, specifically when you drop down that kind of value um there's going to be a lot of fud out there um around eth so just be very very cautious that um if it goes down too low it there's going to be it's going to be absolute carnage for uh, ethereum holders so just kind of bear that in mind and um, but for the most part you know i'm not expecting that at this stage we are just expecting a zigzag pattern um but you know if we do see another three wave move you know it's very very possible that we do see those significant lows come in at a later stage but we're not we're not thinking like that i'm thinking bitcoin's kind of reaching its bottom now um and we should start to see reversal in the market but we are looking for this one last little kind of push down into the final fifth wave low um that's taking us somewhere for ethereum here at 9 30 to about a thousand dollars and then from there we can steadily move our way back up again guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one